champagne and caviar uh, they used to buy me. Now I'm blooming lucky. If I've sugar in me tea, they never leave you alone till they get you. And when they get you, tatar, they never leave you alone till they get you. And when they get you, tatar, uh, things are all right on that honeymoon stage. But once they get that thrown in the cage, the rooster goes a fishing, oh, we some up the chicken. the theater in a box I used to sit now I'm flipping lucky if I'm stood up in the pit they never leave you alone till they get you and when they get you Drove the gentry crazy, lords battled for my charms. But instead of my own stately home, I'm singing at the waterman's arms. They never leave you alone till they get you. And when they very much ladies and gentlemen. Well now we'd like to call on a gentleman out of the audience who's been around collecting and uh, he is Mr George Hitchings who is the Pearly King of the City of London and since he has been Pearly King he has collected £30,000 for various charities ladies and gentlemen so give him a nice big round of applause as he comes up to see... <laughs> Apples and pears and across the Romeo Moor And up to see me dear old trouble and strife On the cane and Abel you will always see A pair of Jack the Rivers and a cup of Rosie Lee Oh what could be better than this? A nice old cuddle and kiss I'll be beneath the power moonlight Then some Tommy Tucker and up to Uncle Ned I stick to it with pride I'm a Costa, a Costa From over the other side I turn me back upon the whole society I'm going where the ripe bananas grow They're only a dozen a shilling That's how I am a living I ought to be the barrel boy years ago Get on me barrel I ought to be the barrel boy years ago Now let's hear you all give me All me life I wanted to be a barrel A costa, a from over the other side I turn me back upon the whole society I'm going where the right bananas grow They're only a dozen a shilling That's how I am a living I own a bit of barrel boy years ago Get on me, mama I own a bit of barrel boy years ago There you Ladies and gentlemen, we bring on to the stage the one and only Mrs. Shufflewick. Nice big hat. <laughs> Hello, dears. <laughs> Mrs. Shufflewick is the name. Star of stage, screen, radio and television, Labour Exchange, formerly known on the British Music Hall 
as Bubbles Latrine and her educated sheepdogs. <laughs> Do you like the fur? This cost £200, this fur did. I didn't pay for it myself. I met 200 fellas with a pound each. <laughs> So I was all right, I wasn't done, was I? <laughs> I don't think so anyway, I can't... <laughs> can't remember myself now, to tell you the truth. It's the gin and tonic, you see, it fogs the brain. I'm happy to say. But I, I'm lucky to be here at all tonight. I'll tell you for why. You see, as you know, I'm weak-willed and easily led. I went out last night. I was the first one in the pub, two minutes after opening time. I forget what I'd been hanging about for to make me so late, but still. <laughs> I was sitting in there with a glass of beer, minding my own business, doing no harm to anyone, and all of a sudden the door opened and this sailor walked in. I'd never seen him before. I think he was in the Navy myself. And he came over and he plonked himself down beside me, not so much as, please, may I, or share my lettuce or anything, you know. And he pulled out a packet of picture postcards he brought back from the Middle East. And quite honestly, I have never seen anything so disc... I mean, I and broad-minded to the point of obscenity. <laughs> I mean, I, I know how many beans make five, and I've been about in me tea half hour, but I've seen these, and they were all in egg for colour. <laughs> I mean, th there was nothing left to the old imagination there. How... I, I, I'm, I don't know. So I gave them back to him after 25 minutes, you know. <laughs> I said, I've no wish to look at this type of literature. Thank you very much. Well, you know yourselves, they're only bits of kids. They spend three months on a banana boat round the Arctic Circle and they come back here, they think the world's their oyster. Well, I wasn't opening, that was a dead first. <laughs> But uh, he calmed down eventually, you know, and uh, he kept buying me these large pots, and I kept drinking them. And he was on pints of brown and mild, and we went on to add about 14 Guinnesses, and we finished up on double dram buoys and a fish cake each. <laughs> and quite honestly, I think it was that fish cake that finished me. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I felt shocking when I came out of that pub. Well, I, I say came out, we was asked to leave. <laughs> it was his fault, that he was messing about with my, um, you know, uh, elastic, and um, the fella behind the bar told us where we could push off to. And I mean, this was at quarter past seven. <laughs> so you can tell what sort of evening I had. I don't remember leaving the pub, I know I had my head on his shoulder. I forget who was holding my feet. <laughs> and we got outside. Now, I don't know if any of you have ever been out with a sailor, but um, they've got a way of manoeuvring you. Because I hadn't been out of that pub two minutes and I'd had it. <laughs> He got me up this cul-de-sac. <laughs> you know, the point of no return. There's me standing with me back to the brick wall between two dustbins. <laughs> and I thought, this is it. Death or dishonour. <laughs> and I thought, I'm not dying yet. I know that. <laughs> And then 
he started all the manoeuvring, you know, and he was trying to tell me that this was Japanese jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Well, all I can say is they must be a blessed, filthy lot, if that's all they know. No wonder they got wonky eyes. <laughs> anyway, about a quarter of an hour later, he put his fag out and... He, he left me, and I'd got no money in my bag. I had to walk all the way home, two and a half hours. All my poor old feet when I got there. I got to my road, I thought, now it's no good me charging in and having a scene with the old boy, because all he's going to say is, where have you been, who have you been with, and how much have you managed to spend, you see? <laughs> so I thought, what I'll do, I'll take all my clothes off downstairs, and I just sort of slide up and creep in. And if he says anything at all, I should just say, I was watching the epilogue and I nodded off. <laughs> no. To which there is no answer. So I got there, you see, I took all my clothes, I'm gonna stitch on, all in a bundle under my arm, and I was up the staircase. Everything in the garden was lovely, not a sound. And I got to the bit where it bends round the corner at the top and I got the shock of me I was on top of a 29 bus. <laughs> <laughs> and all these people turned round, you know, all sober. <laughs> Oh, I, I could have hit them, you know, as if they'd, as if they'd never seen a woman with no clothes on, on top of a bus before. I'm so narrow-minded. So I'd, I, I just stood there, you know, I thought, I'll stare them out. <laughs> I, I thought, I thought, let one of them make the first move. <laughs> and one fella did. <laughs> Dirty, filthy beast. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> but I came downstairs with as much dignity as I could muster, because I still had my hairnet on, you know. <laughs> and I must say, the conduct... Very nice little fat little Irish. He wouldn't take any fare. He just kicked me off. <laughs> Now, I'm going... I brought something to read for you tonight. I'll tell you what, I've had a letter from my boy, that's my eldest one. He's out in the Middle East, my Ernie. He's a soldier. He's in the army. He's on our side, so it's all right. <laughs> you can sleep safely in your beds tonight. Or whenever you finish up, you know, your own business best. <laughs> I tell you one thing, if I'm not in bed by half past eleven, I should be going home. <laughs> now, this boy writes very close to the paper for his age. Now, this boy had a very funny upbringing. He was kept locked in a dark cupboard till he was 12. His father thought he was a hyacinth. <laughs> now, he says, Dear Mum, that's me, you see. He says, Dear Mum, I'm writing this very slow as I know you cannot read very quick. <laughs> But he's enjoying himself. He says, out here, life is one long round of picnics, parties and balls. <laughs> the week before last, it was all picnics. <laughs> last week, it was all parties. 
<laughs> and this week it has all been cancelled. <laughs> Have a good time, didn't they? The government money. I can't follow this next piece. He says, I would have put ten bob in for you, but I have stuck the envelope down. <laughs> That's a bit Chinese, isn't it? He takes after his father in that bit, whoever he was. <laughs> Never even took his cap off. <laughs> oh, then he finishes up, May God keep you from your loving son, Ernie. <laughs> Still, it's lovely to be in London, cos, you know, I'm a cockney bred and born, and there's one place that I love. It calls me back no wetter where I roam, with its bobbies and its banners and cocky London spanners. This place to me is always home sweet home. Good old Saturday night up west, where there's everything that's best, and the lights all shine like stars way up in heaven. But my heart, it starts to beat when I'm walking down the street cos they close up all the pubs dead on 11. Bye-bye, dears. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring on a man who is known all over London, in Islington especially. He's a Cockney boy, sings Cockney songs, and he is known as Mr. Tommy Pudding. A nice big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, slap a bit to treat on your pudding, Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Mary Ann. Smother it, cover it, and put it on the top. Now I like the pudding wheel, the trickle on the top. Now I like the pudding wheel, the pudding meat's a good man. I don't like bread or jam. Slap a bit of trickle on your pudding, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Mary Ann. Oh, she's had a bit to wear and tear, poor cow. She's had a bit to wear and tear. She got one eye and a ball of fat. Someone's kicked her up the eye. Don't want it, cause I told you so before. Oh, take it away, take it away, and give it to the girl next. Oh, come on, let's have a go. Slap a bit of trick and on your foot, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Mary Ann, let's see ya. Slap a bit, cover it, and put it on the top. Now I like the pudding wear, the trick and on the top. Now I like the pudding wear, the pudding meat's a good and I don't like bread or jam. Slap a bit of treacle on your pudding, Mary Ann. Mary Ann, Mary Ann, Mary Ann. Oh, she's had a bit to wear and tear, poor cow. She's had a bit to wear and tear. He got one eye and a bowl of fat. Someone's kicked her up the eye. Don't want it, cause I told you so before. Oh, take it away, take it away, and give it to the girl next door. Thank you. Hey! Now, here's an old English folk song that everybody knows, and um, would you join in the chorus, please? Oh, dear, why? 
What can the matter be? Three old ladies got locked in the lavatory. They were there from Monday till Saturday. Nobody knew they were there. moral of this song I'll tell you there's many it's plain to the few if not to the many don't ever try to get three peas for one penny cause nobody knew they were there oh dear what can the matter be three old ladies got locked in the lavatory they were there from Monday till Saturday, nobody knew they were. Thank you very much, Rodney. I'm you will say. Everybody clapping through the wind and rain. See the power never stops. Everybody clapping, everybody, 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 everybody clapping along. We will pray Liberty clapping down the mountain chain She may go to reach the top Liberty clapping, Liberty, 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 Liberty clapping alone There's a plug, a church, a factor for a minor in Corona A guitar for a western way up in Arizona A direct to Cali, oh, for a pretty Navajo Get along, get along. You will train. Everybody clapping down the mountain chain. They'll keep going till they clap. Everybody clapping, everybody, 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 everybody clapping along. There's a letter full of sadness that is black around the border. A pair of boots for someone who had the mate to order. A Bible in the pack for Reverend Mr. Black. They get along, and you will get along. Well now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to bring up a young lady who sings some of the old numbers, not quite so old, but some of the beautiful numbers you can all join in with. One of my favourites. I know you're going to love her. Her name is Celia Hunt. Here we go with... My old man. and dads and now not forgetting our boys over the other side we go into that lovely old number that goes like this for all the nice girls love a sailor all the nice girls love a child about the something about a sailor you know
I've adjusted my sideburns, put in my false eye and my false lashes. Here we go with another couple of old numbers. And who were you with the last night? Out in the pale moonlight. It wasn't your sister. It wasn't your ma. Savannah, I said Savannah, the weather there is nice and warm, the climate of the southern brine, these what you don't understand, they've got a gal there, a pretty gal there, who's colder than an arctic storm, with a heart like a stone. Even ice may leave her alone They call her hot-hearted Hannah 
the vampire Savannah, the meanest girl in town. Leather's tough, her hand is hot as top She's the cat who likes to eat me in silver. Hug him and throw them, torture and kill them. That's her delight, they say. I saw her at the seashore with a great big pan. She's tipping water on a drowned hand man. Oh, 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 little Hannah, the vamp of Savannah Town. They call her hot and Hannah, vamp of Savannah, where the meat is got a town. Talk about your cold, refrigerating mama. Well, honey, she's the cold of bears' pajamas. I can throw them, torture and kill them. That's her delight, they say. An evening spent with Hannah in a big armchair. Traveling through Alaska in your underwear. Oh, hot and Hannah, the vamp of Savannah town. Talk about your cold, refrigerating mama. Where well, she's the polar bear's pajamas. Evening spent with Hannah in a big armchair. Traveling through Alaska in your underwear. And if you see her at the seashore with a great big pan, she'd be pouring water. Hand, ladies and gentlemen, for a very fine entertainer indeed, Mr. Huey Diamond. Thank you. Where do you come for, Jock? Where do you come for, son? I come for the other Glasgow, I know it well. I know Glasgow very well. I'm for Cambers Lang. God bless you. How are you? Oh, can you hear that? I can hear that in Scotland as well. Are you all right there? How are you, everybody? Are you happy? Oh, no, I've got to do this, folks, because it's an old-time medley. Can you hear me all right? Because it's an old-time medley. Let's have a big, wonderful hand for Scotland. Come on, with a nice, big, wonderful hand for Scotland. Come on, everybody. Come nice, that's it. And I've got to speak, I've got to speak in the good old Harry Lauder's medley, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go with some good old Scotch songs. Oh, I love the lassie, a bonny little lassie. She's as sweet as the heather and the dell. She's as sweet as the heather, the bonny purple heather. Mary, my Scots bluebell. Here we go! Oh, I love the lassie, a bonny little lassie. Another soldier like him in the Scots Brigade. He wheels a mind the heather, you can see the way he's built. With a wiggle, 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 waggle, oh, he's here we go! A bra, bra, heel and laddie, pie, but junk, my dear. There's no another soldier like him in the Scots Brigade. He wheels a mind the heather, you can see the way he's built. With a wiggle, 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 waggle, oh, he's come. Oh, I've been lying to Glasgow, in all Glasgow too. And what's the matter with Glasgow? It's gone and I'm only a common, a working chap, as I am. 
friend of ours. That's her picture when she was 18 years old and weighed 13 stone and she says that they liked a lot of women in those days. She's now 82 years old and is probably the last great personality of British Music Hall, Miss Ida Barr. <laughs> You may have your modern miss Who hands out a saucy kiss Gee boys, you just think that's fine But what about your humble? I'll wager you won't grumble If you listen to this S.O.S. of mine Come up and see me sometime There's a welcome waiting there for you Call round to my flat, just hang up your hat. I'll be waiting there for you when others leave you flat. I am no angel. You can guess an hour alone would be sublime. Perhaps you may regret it, but I bet you won't forget it if you'll come up and see me sometime. You have heard of married bliss. Say, boys, get a hold of this. Here is my philosophy. For when I'm good, I'm very good. And when I'm bad, I'm better. I'll prove it if you take this tip from me. Come up and see me sometime. There's a welcome waiting there for you. Call round to my flat, just hang up your hat. I'll be waiting there for you when others leave you flat. I am no angel. You can guess an hour alone would be sublime. Garbo may tantalize you. But I bet that I'll surprise you If you'll come up and see me sometime I am no angel You can guess an hour alone would be sublime May wish may send you dizzy But if you want keeping busy Well, come up and see me Oh dear, now I'm going to sing you a couple of songs that I brought from America 52 years ago. You can help me out with a second chorus. Thank you, darling. Honey, honey, can't you hear? Funny, funny music, dear. Ain't the funny strain 
go into your brain like a bottle of wine. Fine, han, 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 take a chance. One, 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 one little dance. Can't you see them all swaying up the hall? Let's be getting in line. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. See that ragtime couple over there? Watch them throw their shoulders in the air. Snap their fingers. Honey, I declare it's a bear, it's a bear, it's a bear. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Ain't that music touching your heart? Hear that trombone busting apart. Come, 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 let us start. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it. Everybody's doing it now. Ain't that music touching your heart? Hear that trombone. Come. Honey dear, listen here. Just turn out the light and then come over here. Nestle close up to my side. My heart's afire with love's desire. In my arms, rest complete. I never knew that love could ever be so sweet till I met you some time ago. So now you know I love you so. song instead of making a speech a little chorus that was written for me and this is the chorus what does it matter if I've been wed a couple of times or more I give you me word I'm quite complete from my nepper right down to me feet the fellas call me Martha the broken melody but there's many a beautiful tune played on a fiddle as old as me Now it's your turn to join in. You all know this song and I want everybody to sing. 
Why, it's only a little shanty. Where would that be? What's the shape of the roof? How low is it? What have you got? Where's it situated? What's he doing? What's his work? What's he doing? Now, what would you have to give up? What would you be? What does it mean to you? Capable, really. Are you ready? Yeah. Susie, Susie, sitting in the shoe shine shop. All day long she sits and shines. All night long she shines and. <laughs> wasn't bad at all, but um, there is one young fellow over here, he will insist on sitting when he should be shining. Now, please sir, if you don't mind, will you please promise me you'll back up and try? Here we go now, one more time, just a little bit quicker now boys, here we go.
absolutely marvellous. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll do it one more time now. And it goes like this. Susie, Susie, sitting in the shoe shine shop. All day long, she sits and shines. All day long, she shines and sits. And from then on, you're on your own, OK? Now, nice and quick, here we go. Susie, Susie. Now we'd like to do a request number. We've only got time for one more, and it goes something like this: A pack of all my cares and woes. Here I go, sailing low. Bye, bye. The last of Arms. I hope you've all enjoyed yourselves. You've been really marvellous, you know. You've all really responded really tremendously and thank you all so much for being so sweet and helping us out. And so we'd like to thank our bar staff, our host, Mr. Dan Parsons, and not forgetting all our artists who have been on the stage tonight. Thank you all very, very much for coming up and making our night such a pleasant one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, join with me in giving three fine musicians a nice big hand, ladies and gentlemen. Nice big hand!